Welcome to All Tech Queries, a solution for all your technical queries. In this video, we will learn what is hardware, what is software, what is firmware, and what is the difference between hardware, software, and firmware. Let's begin. What is hardware? In simple words, the parts of a computer that you can touch physically are called hardware. Examples of hardware are mouse, keyboard, monitor, CPU, speaker, etc. These are all physical components that you can touch and feel. What is software? The programs which run inside a computer that you cannot touch or feel, are called software. Examples of software are Windows Operating System Mississippi Word, Chrome, Media Player, Video Games, and all the programs you install on a PC. These cannot be touched directly. We can access them using hardware components like mouse, keyboard, etc. Hardware versus Software Hardware and software are connected to each other. Hardware requires software to work. For example, you need to install printer drivers for a printer to work properly. Similarly, we install monitor drivers, gamepad drivers, etc., for that device to work properly. Another example is the Realm X phone, which has a pop-up camera. The camera is a hardware component, but you cannot pull it up physically to use it. When you open the camera application on your mobile, it commands the hardware to pop up the camera. Basically, hardware and software are very different from each other, but they need each other in order to function. Another example is a car. You can raise and lower the window, lock the car doors, and start the engine by pressing the buttons on the remote. A firmware is related to software but it is differentiated because of its functionality. Let's study more on firmware. What is a firmware? Firmware is a type of software that comes pre-installed in electric appliances and motherboards by manufacturers. The firmware is stored in a read-only memory, ROM, and cannot be edited or altered in most cases. In simple words, firmware is what connects the hardware with the software. Whenever we talk about hardware and software, we take only computers, laptops, and mobile phones into consideration. However, hardware, software, and firmware are also parts of other electronic items such as TV, ovens, washing machines, etc. For example, when you press a button on the TV remote, it sends a signal and turns on the TV. Or when you set a timer on washing machine or oven, they turn off automatically. All these activities are happening because the manufacturers have pre-installed firmware on those devices. Firmware in computer. When you format the PC, all the data and installed programs are erased. Still, when you insert the OS disk, the PC allows you to access the installation process. Moreover, you can even access BIOS settings when your hard disk is formatted. It is because the motherboard manufacturers have pre-installed the firmware in the ROM. Hence, even if you completely erase or damage the hard disk, the firmware remains safe. Firmware versus software Firmware is very sensitive when compared to software. If you lose power while installing or updating a program, you can uninstall and reinstall it. Also, if you make any changes to a program or even the operating system, you can simply format the PC and reinstall it. However, if you lose power while updating the firmware, you can permanently brick the device. The same happens when you alter or delete the firmware settings. Therefore, we recommend you leave the firmware alone. Also, make sure you have power backup before updating the firmware to avoid such problems. Conclusion A device requires all hardware, software, and firmware to function. If you damage hardware physically, it can be repaired in most cases. Similarly, you can uninstall and reinstall the software. But, firmware is pre-installed by manufacturers, and it is hard to reset, once altered. 
Therefore, we recommend you not to alter the firmware of a device unless you have proper knowledge of it. You should also protect your firmware from malware, especially the rootkits. You will find links to all the related videos and articles in the description. If the video was helpful, like our video, and subscribe to our channel All Tech Queries, for more tech-related, informative videos, and how-to tutorials. Follow us on other platforms as well. Links in description. Thank you.